Hello, Rockets, and welcome to today's segment of Art Rocks. The idea behind this is that as a group, as a school, or even as a class, we're all gonna be creating something together. So I know you all have your own you know, math and science and social studies, and hopefully you're working extra hard on those because those are all you know, super important. Um, but the arts are also important, so we wanted to get something out there that you guys can start creating um, individually, but as a school, we're creating it too. Um, and hope, hopefully you are also singing with me every morning. Um, so first, I'll show you what we're doing today, and then I'll show you um, the materials that we need and then how to do it. So here's the idea of what we're making right in time for Holy Week. Um, obviously a crucifix here and some watercolors. So let me go over the materials and then I can tell you how to adapt it if maybe you don't have those exact materials um, at, at your house. So blank piece of paper. I'm gonna use watercolors. Um, if you don't have watercolors, you can use just regular acrylic paint or um, temper paint or even crayons or color pencils, you know, whatever you have and whatever you wanna use. You will need some water and a paintbrush a pencil, a permanent marker, or if you want to use black paint, you could use black paint, or just any kind of um, color that's gonna be the main crucifix. Um, and then lastly, you will need a crucifix, either a real one um, or a cutout one. The one that I did, the one that I'm doing, is just the cutout one. I just went to Google and said, uh, I need a crucifix template or crucifix clip art, and I got the first one that I saw, um, which is this one, and you could cut it out. Um, if you're feeling brave and you have a crucifix at your house, you can just get this, and we're just gonna be tracing it, so you'll actually just trace the real crucifix, um, and then go put it back nicely where it goes. So, um, I did this project already with my three-year-old and with my 18-month-old, so if they can do it, you can do it. And I had fun with it too, so junior high kids, you'll have fun also. Um, so this is my three-year-old, so you can see there's some different ways to adapt this. Um, so it doesn't have to look like mine, in fact, I hope that it doesn't. I hope that you take this and you make it your own. This is my 18-month-year-old, so also it could be done for anybody. Anybody can do this. Um, so. Let me adjust my camera here and I'll tell you what we're doing. Oh dear. Okay, that did not work. Um, so the first thing you'll need to do is either take your crucifix template or your actual crucifix and you're just gonna trace it onto here um, using a pencil. When you've done that, it should look something like this. Then, that's when you're gonna start with the watercolors or whatever kind of paint you have. Now, if you are using watercolors, you're gonna to want to use a lot of water and really make sure that your watercolors are wet when you use them. So when I did it, I kind of started, um, let me see if I can get that better. I kind of started at the center of the crucifix and kind of just went out. Um, you can do that, you don't have to do that. You can do kind of like blobs of it, however you, you know, however you want. Again, just make sure you're using a lot of water with your watercolors. Um, so when, let's say that I finished all this and it's done, that's when you're gonna take your permanent marker and you're just gonna kind of trace the lines carefully and then color it in. You might wanna wait a little bit for the watercolor to dry so it doesn't kind of leak in there. Um, yeah, and then try to fill in all those little white spaces as you're going or if you have like a black and you'd rather do that um, Like a black paint that might be easier. So so do whatever you can uh, When you're finished with this project, I would love for you to send them to me um, Or send a picture of it to me or send a picture of it to mrs. Wilson uh, My email is m elum at strockindy.org. So I look forward to making art with you and I hope you enjoy